Hello everyone, I'm going to go over some graphs and charts real quick and then I'll get into some articles. The first graph is NASA's near-Earth asteroids. The second graph is fireball data from the official American Meteor Society.org. The other photos show the date and number of confirmed fireball sightings for the given year. You can find the year and number of events at the bottom of each picture. They changed their layout in 2017 so it goes from blue to black, but it's from the same American Meteor Society page. Okay, meteor events. 2002, 5. 2003, 8. 2004, 7. 2005, 459. 2006, 495. 2007, 569. 2008, 713. 2009, 655. 2010, 933. 2011, 1,636, 2012, 2,162, 2013, 3,578, 2014, 3,774, 2015, 4,214, 2016, 5,340, 2017, 5,484, and 2018, 5,946. So it went from under 10 in 2004 to almost 6,000 in 2018. There is also an increase in asteroid impacts. Here's what's going on. Our binary brown dwarf system is nearing Earth. First off, most all systems have a binary twin, a star having a binary twin. This article says, new evidence that all stars are born in pairs. But anyways, our binary system has a much, much longer orbital period. We call the brown dwarf Nemesis. And Mainstream finally picked up on this name and reported it in 2017. Here's some pictures of that. Now, I will add the links below to all the articles that they talk about Nemesis. This binary system has its own planets and its own debris field, asteroid belt. As it nears our solar system, we enter into its debris field first. Just like if something were to come towards us and Earth, they would enter our debris field and asteroid field or asteroid belt first before ever getting to our planets. So as the system and its debris field nears, fireball data and near Earth objects and in asteroids increase. The closer it gets, the bigger the jump. So as it gets closer, there will be more and more fireballs, asteroids, and near Earth objects. NEOs. This brown dwarf system is where the extra in increase in cosmic radiation is coming from also. It is sending massive amounts of cosmic radiation here, and that's why we have an 18% increase since 2015. That is also why they did a story that, or last year I think it was, trying to figure out why a new type of cosmic radiation was pouring out of Antarctica and at our South Pole. It is just taking in too much cosmic rays and spitting it back out. It's also heating Earth's core and causing core expansion and heightened volcanism. With extra cosmic radiation, intense increasing heat and core expansion, you have crustal displacement, like boiling an egg too long. I did this little experiment with overboiling an egg too long as an example of Earth being heated from the inside causing core expansion and crustal displacement, Earth cracks and Earth shifting. I was going on to Google when I noticed this article though. Extremely powerful cosmic rays are raining down on us and no one knows where they are coming from. Well, if you've been following the five ways of energy cosmic rays notes and Mike's speeches since at least 2014, then you know that this is not true. And we know exactly where this is coming from. The increase in cosmic rays is coming from the binary brown dwarf system. Also, in this article, they have it dead wrong when they state this about cosmic rays. These rays, which are passing through us at this very moment, are not harmful to us or any other life on the surface of Earth. That, that Okay, so that is not how it works. I'm not sure why they would even have published that. It is a scientifically known fact that it is quite the opposite and has the quite the opposite effect. Cosmic rays have a huge impact on both the Earth and people. Cosmic radiation feeds into Earth's core, causing core expansion and crustal displacement, shifting and cracking of the Earth. Cosmic rays radiation also heats Earth from the inside like a pressure cooker, hence why we are concerned about volcanic activity everywhere on the Earth. Cosmic rays in large amounts are harmful to the earth, people, and animals, so the above statement is false. With humans and animals, cosmic radiation breaks down and damages DNA. 
and also causes heart problems from irregular heartbeat arrhythmias to sudden cardiac death. These are all scientifically proven. I will link all the links to those below also. Also, UVC is not supposed to reach ground level, but it is now, and it's very harmful. See the link below to my video from 2018, Scientific Links to Sudden Cardiac Death and Cosmic Radiation. And please note, though, that the 18% or that the 13% the increase it has is now an 18% increase. It is increased from 13 to 18%. Okay. And also, my other video, UVC Reaching Ground Level, UVC Explained. This article goes on to say, Many are much too powerful to have origin originated from our sun. Well, of course not, but we've covered that for years and have followed the increase over time. It will continue to increase and the Earth will continue to take on increased amounts of cosmic radiation and heat up from the inside like a pressure cooker as the system nears. Magma will be on the move in a big way. Also with the Earth cracks all over and fault line separations, etc. Mike referred to it like this. When you boil an egg too long, it begins to crack. That's what the Earth is doing, being heated from the inside so much that its surface begins to crack. So this egg right here represents the earth being heated by cosmic rays. You see the earth cracks. This kind of represents that. Okay, so if you see how it works, when you boil too long, you kind of have core expansion. And the shell, the outer crust, the shell begins to crack. We have earth cracks all over. Africa has them really bad. You have smaller ones, big ones. That's something to look into. But um, this represents volcanoes going off and earth cracks. That's all of which we are seeing right now. Okay, now with cosmic radiation increasing, here are some supplements you could take to help. Mark Elkin put the supplement list together. He says the COQ10 should be taken first thing in the morning with Super C Kelp. Now this will regulate your heart and help block radiation. Now we are here to help, so if you have any questions at all, you can find us over at Hidden Knowledge. Now I want to cover one more art recent article. Today's climate change is worse than anything Earth has experienced in the past 2,000 years. The global climate is changing faster now than it has at any point in the past 2,000 years. Researchers showed that none of the past fluctuations, that is, not the Little Ice Age, the warm period known as the medieval climate anomaly, or any other famous shift, had the global reach that modern climate change is having. Past fluctuations tended to be localized, affecting primarily one region at a time. At a time. Modern climate change, by contrast, is messing with the entire world. Although the Little Ice Age was the coldest epoch of the past millennium, the timing of the lowest temperatures varied from place to place. So St. George wrote, Two-fifths of the planet were subjected to the coldest weather during the mid-19th century, but the deepest chill occurred several centuries early, earlier in, this other regions, or in other regions. And even at the highest of the medieval climate anomaly, only 40% of Earth's surface reached peak temperatures at the same time. Using the same metrics, Global warming today is unparalleled. Or unparalleled sorry, the 98% or for 98% of the planet's surface, the warmest period of the Common Era occurred in the late 20th century. Now that means that almost every part of the planet had the hottest or its hottest decades in the past 2,000 years at the same time. But I must add this: the cause is not humans. Sure, we have our impacts and consequences on the Earth when we do things like cut down forests and when we use massive amounts of pesticides, etc., but humans are not causing global warming. Man-made climate change is a lie, and the global warming scare is being used as a political tool to increase government control and make money, lots of money. Global warming is a multi-billion dollar plus per year industry in the U.S. and around the world. Climate change isn't a lie, however the lie is that we are the ones causing this. Climate change was going on long before humans invented cars, trains, jets, power plants, air conditioners, movie theaters, etc. The Earth's climate has changed many times in the history of the planet, and there is many natural causes for global climate change that have occurred throughout the history of the Earth. Examples would be solar variations, cosmic radiation, and the binary systems, etc. During climate change, the whole solar system has climate change and global warming. 
Climate change, such as growth of the dark spots on Pluto, auroras on Saturn, polar shifts in Uranus, changes in light to intensity of Neptune, and warming of other planets. In 2016, news came out saying, Scientists find evidence of global warming on Mars. Earth isn't the only planet grappling with climate change, although this other orb doesn't have much in the way of fossil fuel emissions. Now, back in 2015, Space News All Over reported this. Entire, entire solar system is heating up. Scientists blame solar warming. Now, the warming of Pluto. Pluto resides on the icy outskirts of the solar system near a giant shell of astronomical bodies known as the Oort Cloud. News and scientists reported this. Although Pluto resides in the coolest regions of the solar system, the dwarf planet is heating up. Specifically, Pluto's atmospheric pressure has increased by 300%, which is more than any other planet in the solar system. Air and Space even says this, climate change may affect the habit habitability of other planets. It's not just Earth that has to worry. Even National Geographic posted the article, Mars melt hints at solar, not human, cause for warming, scientists say. So why are they still blaming it on us? I mean, why would they blame that on us if the whole solar system is having global warming and solar system changes or climate change? It's like the whole solar system is having climate change and global warming. I'll tell you why, though. This is all about power. So money and control. Power, money, and control. That's why. Now, just look into the UN 2030 agenda for that, for the amount of control they want via global warming. Push fear on you so you give up all your rights to feel safe. Control. They are pushing a scandalous attempt to exert control over the masses' use of fossil fuels, right along with and in full support of the UN's efforts. This is all about power, influence, and money. Remember, other planets are warming and changing. Evidence that CO2 is not the principal dr driver of warming on this planet is provided by the simultaneously warming or simultaneous warming of other planets and moons in our solar system. Despite the fact that they obviously have no anthropogenic emissions of greenhouse gases. So we can see just by other planets and our whole solar system that we are not the cause of global warming. It is about control and money. The brown dwarf system, as it nears, is heating Earth and heating the solar system. That, that increase in radiation is heating us and heating everything up, causing this climate change. Um, now, that also comes with the near-Earth objects and the asteroids and all that that we researched earlier, went over the graphs and data on that earlier. That increases as the system gets closer also. Okay, anyways, no fear, just love and light. Stay aware and prepared, and much love.